Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. My name is Eunice Tolu Olatuji and if this is the first time of coming here or seeing my video, I want to say thank you for even clicking on the video. Please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification button so that each time I post a new video, you can be notified. For my returning viewers and subscribers, I want to say thank you, thank you once again. You are the reason why I'm still doing this. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you. So today I want to talk about a matter that in one way or the other affects everyone. And it's going to be about workplace conflicts. So I'm going to be doing like a series or on it because I know that most of us don't have the time to sit down for a long video. Conflict is inevitable. In as much as we are with here, human race differently, different cultures, there will always be conflict. So when we talk about conflict in workplace, what does it mean? It simply means a clash of interest, values, or goals between individuals or teams within an organization. The workplace conflict can manifest in different ways, in different forms. The sources of these conflicts may be internal or external to an organization. When there is unresolved conflict in the workplace, it doesn't just affect the individual involved, it affects the organization, it affects the individual involved, and it affects their immediate family or friends because one way or the other, you are likely to transfer what you are feeling at workplace to them. I'm illustrating this uh, topic with a case that was filed with the National Industrial Court. It was decided or determined in May 2022. Hmm. The name of the case. <laughs> I'm trying to see that I will not bite my tongue and I will not pronounce the name anyhow because even the pronunciation of the name was part of the course of action in court. Yes. The case is Shehik Wedrago against Uber Technologies Nigeria Limited, Uber Technologies Incorporation and Mimi Omokri. So what happened in the case? Shehik was employed by Uber. Sometimes in May, he had an interview with Uber. I was offered an employment in July 2019. And then it was to be posted to Lagos. So he was coming from Canada. So there was a budget for his relocation, I think about 10000 Plus, almost $11,000 was allocated for him for relocation to Nigeria. So when he got to Nigeria and resumed work as a senior business development um, person, she, it was to, re, to report to Mimi, who was the head of business development for Uber at the time. And then when he resumed, he felt that he was not welcome. He felt that the place was hostile to him. He mentioned that Mimi was not calling her name properly. That I, I can imagine maybe she does not know how to pronounce the name, but Sheik complained that Mimi was calling him drag Drogo and that the way she called him was derogatory. Aside that he said that when he comes into the office, Mimi make jest of jest of him in front of all the staff about his dressing, that look at the way he's dressing. Then coupled with the father, he called him Drogo. He said that Drogo is like a barbarian. Even though the defendant argued that yeah, Drogo was a warlord and not a barbarian, but he said no. That the way they addressed him, the way they treat him, you know, when you come into a room sometimes and some people laugh, you just feel like, oh, they're talking about me, especially when you are new in a place. So he was not so comfortable in the place. He felt harassed. He felt intimidated. He felt discriminated against. And he, to, 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 to make matter worse, he said that he was looking for accommodation in Nigeria and Mimi made the sourcing for accommodation to be part of his um, appraiser, which he feels that it shouldn't be. So he reported to the second line manager about the harassment, how he felt about the workplace. He was the second line manager asking to put it in writing and saying to him 
So he did that. He made a complaint in writing and sent a mail. But after sending a mail, the harassment continued according to him. In fact, he said that it was now worse. He was excluded from team meeting when he made proposal, business proposal, Mimi would not look at it. That it was not even getting files, it was not be able to ask, it was not assigned any project to work on. So you reported again that it appears that this email that you asked me to do is counterproductive because it feels worse than it even used to be. That Mimi now avoid him at workplace. Does she does not want to talk to him? She does not carry him along in anything. When he made proposal, he would not even look at it. But just two months into his work, he was summoned for a meeting, and in the meeting, he was told that his um, employment has been terminated. He felt so bad that oh, is that this is like a retaliation of my complaint? Why am I being? Why is my employment terminated? And he said that because of performance that you're not performing, and because you are not able to fix your relationship with Mimi. That was how his appointment was terminated. What place conflict can manifest in different ways? It could be external factor, it could be internal factor. So talking about the internal factor that could cause conflict, we talk about interpersonal differences. We have people with different temperaments, different personality, and there is a tendency that there may be clash. Some people may just be jovial, some may have limited, I mean, they may be intolerant to some joke that you may crack. Like we have in this instance that Mimi was calling Sheikh Kudrago, Drogo, instead of his name. <laughs> and Sheikh found the name offensive that, oh, they are calling me barbarian because I'm from Burkina Faso. They make jest of me openly with the way I dress. To Mimi, it may be nothing, but to Sheikh, it was a lot. It was harassment for him, and he was not fine by that uh, behavior. No ambiguity. When the role or the function is not well defined, an employee do not know what is expected of him, then there may be problems. There will be conflict. Like part of the complaint that Sheikh made was that Mimi made his searching for accommodation part of his appraiser. Is this supposed to be the situation? How is that related to business development? But if it were part of the KPI, Key Performance Index, they have given him when he was coming in as a senior business development, develop, maybe that would be an issue. But to him, this is not part of my job role. Why are you making it a premise or basis for my assessment? You can see conflicts that was part of the reason they had conflict in the first place that led them to court. Then when you have a competitive work environment, for instance, there's limited resources, limited space, maybe for partnership, for a role, and everybody is clamoring for the same award or recognition, there will be definitely be on, on bloody rivalry. People, instead of collaborating, will be competing to shine. I can imagine Woodrego being a man coming in as a senior business development where Mimi, a lady, is the lead. Perhaps Mimi feels threatened that it is a man and he wants to like um, take over my work. I have to protect my territory. I am not saying that was what happened, but it could be. Perhaps Woodrego too was feeling that, oh, this is a woman. She's trying to just terrorize me. I don't know what happened, but it could be, it's a possibility that they are just trying to map their territory to ensure that nobody take my position away from me. When there are conflicting goals at workplace, you know, sometimes you have much work coming in, especially maybe in a law firm, I'll, I'll, I'll use that as analogy because that's my background anyways. That you have a case, you have a motion, you have a trial, and you're wondering which one should go first. Which one should we prioritize? And then maybe your colleague is saying, Oh, I want to do a motion. When you feel that we have a very contentious trial coming ahead, this is what we should be, <laughs> we'll be preparing for. You know, that's because 
clash in the workplace. Also, organization policy. When the organization policy, it appears to be ambiguous, not so clear, or when there is inequality in policies of the organization, there will be, there, there will be conflict. Some people may not talk, but they would not be happy. Organization policy should be very, very clear. Should be should, should express equality. There shouldn't be any any iota of discrimination in your policy, saying that some people are better than other. I know in some organization you have a restaurant for I mean the, the kitchen for senior staff, kitchen for junior staff, kitchen for maybe people of color. That in itself would pass. It's tough to conflicts people will think why do we have to differentiate people also some people may not even understand what the policy is all about so there is need for everyone to to understand what the company policy is in my next video i'll still talk about the company policy because uber has policies on anti uh, harassment workplace discrimination but what happened despite the policies that they have I'll be looking at that in, in another video. Also, factors that may cause conflict in workplace include external factors such as um, development in technology. Things are evolving and people need to move ahead. In those days, lawyers will carry um, diary, hardcover diary, every time you carry diary. But you know, this day you can actually use your phone to organize everything and on by just clicking, you know, Oh, I'm engaged on this date and all of that to so plan your time, you plan your calendar, everything pop up, you know when, when to do work, when to do work. But some people still find it difficult to be able to change. People most time resist change. Like NBA Nigerian Bar Association introduced that all bar practicing fees should be paid online. Many people are still struggling that we don't know how this works. And you know, causing conflict clash that must people that want to do manual let them do manual people that want to do online let them do. but things are evolving and we need to evolve with things but how do we introduce it how do we pass it across that type? it doesn't cause conflict in the workplace economic challenges could be part of the causes or sources of conflict in the workplace especially when there is slim budget for things to be done. Some department may feel that we are more important than the other departments, so our budget should be more. I know that many organizations, they try to cut down expenses on training when they feel that, oh, we don't have much, which is not supposed to be. <laughs> you should spend on training. But some will say, oh, training is just secondary. This is the engineering department as the one that is giving us money. Oh, this department is the one that will fetch us money, so we we'll cut down on this, and this may clash because clashes that people, some people feel that oh, so we are not important, so our services is not important. You know, before you know it, it could cause cost, it could cause a strain in workplace. Another thing is market competition. When there is so much competition, I can imagine like Uber. At the time Uber was coming up, I think that 2020, 2019, that they had this issue, we already have both was competing with Uber. So how do we, who, who had a better idea to make sure that you have the competitive edge over your competitor? You strive that I want my idea to be the best. I want to shine. In my next video, we'll talk about the impact of conflict, unresolved conflict in workplace. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel. If you want a copy of the judgment, just type on the comment section that you want to copy, send me your email, and I will send it to you or post the link where you can get the judgment that I'll be talking about. Thank you so much for coming around and see you next time.